24 billion pounds. No, not the cost to the BBC of sacking Jeremy Clarkson, but the current estimated economic cost of Alzheimer's disease to the UK every year. Alzheimer's disease currently represents one of the greatest social and economic burdens faced by the world, and the UK is absolutely no exception to that. The, by 2050, the 850,000 people currently living in the UK with Alzheimer's disease will have reached 2 million. And that 24 billion in economic costs will have reached 59 billion. So what's going on in Alzheimer's disease? Well, we know that it's caused by the buildup of a small sticky protein fragment within the brain known as, known as amyloid. But amyloid's being produced by our brain cells all the time. So what, what's the difference in disease? Well, it's not until amyloid begins to accumulate and stick together that it sticks to the surface of brain cells and causes toxicity. That leads to a complex series of events within that brain cell, eventually leading to that cell's death. So, what am I doing about this problem that we face? Well, amyloid precursor protein is a complicated thing, and that's one of the difficulties we face in our field. It's produced in various different forms within the brain, and the level of those forms varies significantly, both within aging, but particularly in Alzheimer's disease. What my lab has shown is that the level of those, uh, of those different forms of amyloid precursor protein varies significantly. And I'm trying to find out why the rate at which amyloid is produced from those forms varies. <clears throat> so amyloid precursor protein in the brain has been shown to interact with various other proteins. So I guess we could call those guys APP's friends. But I mean, we all went to school and we know that sometimes our friends could influence us to do bad things. Well, APP's friends can influence the rate at which amyloid is produced from APP. So what I've gone on to do is to show that different forms of APP have different friendship networks, and that if I interfere with certain interactions between APP and its friends, I can alter the rate at which amyloid is produced. So what does any of that mean for Alzheimer's disease patients, the, one that the ones that really matter? Well, current clinical trials are consistently failing, and we still don't have a single disease-modifying agent available to healthcare. What I'm trying to do here is elucidate novel targets for therapeutic intervention in Alzheimer's disease. If we can interfere with APP's social interactions, as I've called them, we hope to be able to reduce the production of amyloid in the brain. And if we can do that, we want to be able to slow, stop, or even prevent the development of disease. But if we're going to do that, we have to have novel therapeutic targets, we have to have more fundamental research, and really, given the current climate, we have to act now. Thank you very much.